The University of North Florida's archaeology team is now fairly confident that they have located the lost indigenous northeast Florida community of Sarah Bay. Wait till you hear this. Sarah Bay, a settlement mentioned in both French and Spanish documents dating to the 1560s but had not been discovered until now. The type and amounts of indigenous pottery the team is finding, combined with the type and dates for European artefacts, as well as the cartographic map evidence, strongly supports this location as the late 16th, early 17th century Mokama settlement. The researchers have opened large excavation blocks with many exciting new artefacts found and are currently searching for evidence of houses and public architecture. The team are being led by Dr. Keith Ashley and have just recently recovered more than 50 pieces of Spanish pottery as well as indigenous pottery that dates to the 1500s or early 1600s. And they have also recovered bone, stone and shell artefacts as well as remnants of burnt corn in the cobs. Expanding upon the UNF excavations conducted at the southern end of the Big Talbot Island in 1998, 1999 and then 2000, the UNF research team has completed what is likely the most extensive excavations in northeast Florida's history. And this dig is part of the UNF Archaeological Lab's ongoing Mokama archaeological projects. And this study focuses on the Mokama-speaking Timucua Indians who lived on the Atlantic coast of northeastern Florida at the time of the European arrivals in 1562. And the Mokama were among the first indigenous populations encountered by European explorers in the 1560s. And the team hopes to ultimately confirm the discovery of Sarah Bay by finding evidence of houses and public architecture. And they will continue to explore and learn about Sarah Bay's physical layout during continued fieldwork projects over the next three years. But what do you guys think about this one anyway? Comments below and thank you for watching.